Hello, in today's video we are going to be looking at cross tabs and exploring how to create a cross tab in SPSS. I'm also going to show you in this same video how to do measures of association in SPSS and also how to calculate chi-square. So to start off with I've opened the General Social Survey 2008 subset and we are going to do um, a quick how to create a cross tab and then also get our measure of association and chi-square test of significance. So I'm going to use the variables um, sex, the respondent sex, male, female, and then whether or not they voted in the 2004 election. So our hypothesis here might be that if you are female, you are more likely to have voted. And then our null hypothesis would be that there is no relationship between sex and whether or not one voted in the 2004 election. So to start off with, I'm going to go to analyze, I'm going to go to descriptive statistics, and then I'm going to go to cross tabs. And so this is going to allow me to create that contingency table or cross tabulation or cross tab. So then what you'll notice here is I have um, a couple of different boxes. I'm just putting everything back the way it was. Um, so you'll notice I've got my variables here. And if you don't have the variable names, but you've got labels, you can again right click and choose variable names and also choose how you want to sort. So now I want my independent variable to go across the top. I want it to be distributed in the columns. So sex is going to be my independent variable, so I'm going to put that in the columns. And then vote 04, so did you vote in the 2004 election? That's going to be my dependent variable, so it's going to go in the rows. So I'm always going to have my independent variable here in the columns and my dependent variable in the rows. So then what else do I want? I want to click on cells. And I want to make sure that I choose column percents. This will give me the percentages that go down and total 100% down at the bottom in the columns. So I've already clicked that, that box, um, and then I click continue. I leave everything else the same. Then I can go to statistics, and here I'm going to choose that I want a chi-square because I want to be able to test for statistical significance and do a hypothesis test. And then you'll see that there are a whole bunch of other options. So I have two nominal variables, so I'm going to choose from this nominal list, and I'm going to choose lambda as my measure of association. And then if it were to be an ordinal level variable, if both were ordinal, then I could choose from this list, and I would choose a gamma. Um, but you could also choose one of the other options. So then once I have my measure of association and my statistical significance chosen, then I'm going to click continue and click OK. And I'm going to get three tables, actually four tables, I guess. So the first table is just the case processing. This just tells me how many valid cases I have. Um, and then I have my cross tab. And this is the cross tab like we were looking at in the um, what is a crosstab video. And so this shows you that um, it looks like 69.9% of men uh, voted in the 2004 election, 73.3 women, 30.1% um, of men did not vote, 26.7% of women did not vote. So you can see that slightly more or slightly more likely that a woman would vote than men. Um, so now we'd want to know is this relationship statistically significant? So if I scroll down, I have two things. I have my lambda down here in the bottom, and I have my chi-square. Let's look at chi-square first. So the chi-square value is this top number here. So we're just going to look across the top line. So it is 1.136. That's a very low calculation for gamma or for chi-square. I have one degree of freedom. And then it's telling me, is it statistically significant? And so this number here is the number that that this value goes above in the chi-square table. Um, and so if we looked at this number, 0.286, um, that's where this goes above. So basically what we want is we want this sig number to be below 0.05. Clearly this is not below 0.05. This relationship is not statistically significant. Um, and so we would fail to reject the null hypothesis. So again, we want this number, this 0.286, to be below um, 0.05 in order to say that it is st statistically significant at the 0.05 level. Right now, it's not statistically significant. So then we look at our lambda. So our lambda is showing us zero. Um, it is showing us that there is 
absolutely no relationship between these two variables. Um, and so we are, our hypothesis is not supported by these statistics. So that's how you would compute the um, cross tab and then how you would look at the chi-square and look at the significance level. And then lambda, you're going to look at the symmetric and look at the value. Um, and this value should be between 0 and 1. Um, so let's go ahead and do another example. And this time we'll choose um, ordinal variables so you can see what gamma would look like. So let's choose um, political views. So um, extremely conservative to extremely liberal. And then we'll choose pray. How often do you pray? Going from never to several times a day. So let's say that um, in this case, it probably doesn't matter which one's independent and which one's dependent. Um, but we'll say that prayer comes before political views. So we'll say that how often you pray predicts your political views. So I'm going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Cross Tabs, and I am going to put my... Uh, independent variable which is prayer into the columns and then I'm going to put my dependent variable political views into the rows and then I'm going to go my cells should stay the same I still want the columns checked and then I'm going to go to statistics though and I'm going to uncheck lambda because now we have ordinal level variables and I'm going to check gamma and so I'm going to click continue and OK and now I've got a bigger table so uh, I've got a lot larger table that's going to take up a lot more space. So here we have the, let's see if I can't make it, there we go, now it fits. Um, so we have the independent variable across the top, the dependent variable across the bottom. We would go through and circle the highest in each, um, in each category. And so let's see, it would be the, this one, this one. Looks like we go then over here. It looks like it's kind of back and forth um, when you look at the highest percentages. Um, those who are liberal, never. So there, there looks like there could be a little bit of an inverse relationship going this direction. We'll see if we're correct. Our chi-square value is 92.578. It's a very high chi-square. 30 degrees of freedom because this is a big table. And look at that. It is statistically significant. Um, at all levels. So this is, we would reject the null hypothesis that there is no relationship between these two variables. And then if we look at gamma, gamma is negative. Um, so it is showing an inverse relationship or a negative linear relationship. And it is 0.24, which in social science terms is actually pretty strong. Um, not entirely strong, but there is a, a pretty clear relationship. So again, if you had circled, you would be going kind of this direction from those who are extremely conservative praying several times a day to those who are extremely liberal much less likely to pray. Um, and so you have a negative relationship as indicated by the gamma. All right, so that is how you cal uh, create a cross tab, calculate your uh, measures of association, lambda and gamma, and then also calculate chi-squares in SPSS.